it's time to welcome back once again, Mr. Conan O'Brien and Sona Movsesian. Hello, guys. Thank you for joining us. Well, there's no place I'd rather be. Aww. <laughs> That's not Wait a minute. True. That's a sweet start. So, Wait a minute. I'm in Hawaii right now. Okay. Right? <laughs> With Salma Hayek. Yeah. Is that where I am? No. <laughs> no. I knew there was a catch. I knew there was a catch. It's always a catch. I'm sorry. I was under the impression I was on a Hawaiian vacation with Salma Hayek. <laughs> and uh, then I just remembered it was with you guys. Oh. This is not, I mean, I have to amend what I said earlier. There's another place I'd rather be. <laughs> uh, good to see you. Uh, Sonia, good to see you, Blay, and uh, uh, I, you know I'm here, and let's make the best of it. Do you like Mario? Are you familiar? What's your stance? What's your stance on Mario? You know, like all of us, I've seen Mario around uh, in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where? where did I, I had some experience with Mario because um, when my son, when my daughter and son were younger, they they went through a Mario phase, and so I would you know, play with them. And and then I had the experience of going to some convention. I think you were there, Blay. Yeah. We went to a convention and we met the voice of Mario. Do you remember that? And the creator of Mario. Yeah. We met. Well, you, was it? Okay. All right. <laughs> I, all, I, all I remember was he came up to me and someone said, oh, Conan, this is the voice of Mario. And he did, what is it? What does Mario say? It's a me, Mario. Yeah. So, so uh, I... They bring this adult male who's, who I think is older than I. He looked to be in his 60s or something. Yeah. And they go, Conan, this is the voice of Mario. And I went, oh, hi, it's very nice to meet you. You know, congratulations. And he went, you know, I'm a Mario. <laughs> and I went, yeah, well, congratulations. Like, I'm making a pizza pie. <laughs> and I said, oh, okay. And he's like, look out, here comes this pajama. And I said, oh, you know, like, oh, whoop de doo <laughs> And he wouldn't just be himself. Do you know what I mean? He's Mario. He wouldn't let it drop, and I kept trying to talk to him, and then I was thinking like, oh, you know, his, he has a meeting with his doctor, and his doctor's like, you know, we have to talk because I'm really concerned about, I mean, we're going to have to operate immediately. I'm a Mario! <laughs> Well, no, okay, yes, I know, I know. But anyway, I think you're gonna be fine, but we're gonna go through the right ventricle. We're gonna put a stent in. I made you a pizza pie! <laughs> and I just thought, oh, this is bad. He's always doing that, you right. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I also love all these classic Mario lines. Like, I'm making a pizza pie. And <laughs> well, I don't know what so he says. Much. Look out for the sledgehammer, is that yeah. what he said? <laughs> yeah. But you know, like, can you imagine being in a relationship with him and he's orgasming? It's oh, just terrible. No. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. I'm all finished. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Now we have a baby. <laughs> Oh my Why? god. Those are those are some of my favorite Mario lines. Why? I will say. <laughs> Classic. Classic Mario. Oh no. Oh. Uh, how do we That's even awful. talk about anything else after this? Well, have you ever actually played any Mario games? Because I really think you'd like the last one, if I'm honest. It takes place in a kingdom of cats. Sure. Uh Mario's Not got random a furry at all. suit. Uh and the place is called Lake Lapcat. Okay. Lake Lapcat. Uh, can I ask you, is there an algorithm somewhere that just randomly says is, is, says random things and that's how they create these video games? Because you said like, okay, Mario. Yeah, I know Mario. Yeah, I know all about Mario. Yeah, well, guess what? Now he's in a land and he's a cat and it's called Lake something. And I think I could do this too. I could just make up. Yeah. What, are you, what have you done with, uh, what's going on with Mario? I got it. I'm all, I mean, what are these pitch meetings like? What do you got, Conan? You got something new for Mario? Yeah, yeah, he's in a big bowl of soup. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's in a big bowl of soup. He's in a submarine that's made out of caramel. And uh, his best friend is the, uh, is the insert that goes in your shoe. <laughs> and his name is Inserty. And anyway, they're trapped in a Japanese gummy bear. And uh, their mission is to try and save Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> want that to happen. You're actually not far off. Super Mario Odyssey, his hat was a sentient hat that was like a character also. And he of would course, throw- doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just all, they literally have an algorithm that throws out random things. Talking hat, watch that's constipated, uh, you know, 
guitar that, uh, you know, uh, is fluent in Sanskrit. And then that, that's the game. And everyone's like, I don't know how they do it, man. I mean, I, w- I will say it does kind of feel like that with la- with the lap cat thing. But also, isn't it weird? Like, I, I just have to say, like, there's a whole world of people who love Mario and and anything, they can do no wrong. Nintendo can do no wrong, no yeah. matter how weird we get. And yeah. so I kind of, you know, it, it starts to feel like Nintendo is maybe just trying to troll their fan base. Like, how yeah. far can we push this? How far can we push it? We've got Catland now. I submit to you both that um, in any cult, once you're in and you're in all the way, the whoever's running the cult can change the rules and ask for anything. And there's nothing, you're just going to go along with it. So right. that's what's happened is once you've devoted seven, eight, nine, ten years to Mario and you're in and they start asking more and more of you, you're just going to go with it, you know, until suddenly you're all like, you know, living on a, on a mountaintop in Utah, you know, and waiting for a spaceship to come take you away. Like that's that's what this is. Is that where the Mario franchise is uh, is heading towards? Yeah, they're just slowly indoctrinating everybody. I don't think that's slowly. <laughs> but at some point, they're all going to go to a mountaintop in Utah, and a ship is going to descend at the appointed time, and a strange creature is going to come out and go, "Get into the ship!" <laughs> <laughs> now have a, we're going to have a sex. <laughs> um, Why does it have to keep going to that? <laughs> well, he's very sex obsessed. You're ruining this, you know. it. Stop. It's not. <laughs> what did you? Oh. Maybe that's the sound he makes when he orgasms. Oh, oh what did no. <laughs> It's awful. When I orgasm, I say whoop de doo <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know if this means I'm going to be playing Mario never again or Mario a lot more. I think we both know the answer, which is a lot more. <laughs> well, uh, guys, if you have a game you want Conan's hot take on, <laughs> hit us up at Good Game. Nice try on Twitter. Uh, thanks, Conan, and thanks, Sony. Anytime, anytime. <laughs>